Hi, I'm Vicky Vortex. I'm excited to share with you my new series called Healthy Mistakes, the mistakes that I used to make in the name of health. Having studied nutrition at the world's top universities and coming from a family of doctors, it frustrates me that there's plenty of important information that is still not out there. Everyone has made mistakes, and believe me, I've made plenty. Not only have I wasted a lot of time and money doing things that I had thought was good for my health, they turn out to be detrimental. There is so much conflicting misinformation out there that I just want to share my expensive lessons with you so that you won't have to make the same mistakes. Before I came across the medical medium, I used to pride myself in brewing my own apple cider vinegar, kefir and kombucha because I had heard that the probiotics and life enzymes were good for me. Recently, I've stopped fermenting everything because I've learned that when you consume apple cider vinegar, it begins to draw water out of our cells, giving the illusion that you've lost weight, but it's actually just chronic dehydration. Vinegar can pickle our organs as it chemically reacts to salt, and then it drives living water from our cells, allowing toxins to penetrate deeper into our tissue, making it impossible to detox. What's more, unproductive bacteria like strep, staph and E. coli produce acid that can creep up into the oesophagus, causing acid reflux. Apple cider vinegar makes the stomach gland release lots of hydrochloric acid, which neutralizes bad acids, temporarily providing relief. Unfortunately, once it wears out the stomach glands, apple cider vinegar can no longer alleviate reflux. Strep bacteria that can cause acne thrives in an acidic environment, and adding more acids such as vinegar magnifies this environment, enabling strep bacteria to thrive. Anything acidic like vinegar, dairy and coffee depletes the body of calcium, which is used for neutralizing acidity. The more acid we consume, the more calcium leaches from our bones and teeth to neutralize it, leading to osteoporosis, loss of enamel and even our teeth. However, don't despair. You don't have to throw away your apple cider vinegar because it's loaded with minerals, micronutrients, antioxidants and enzymes, so it's still good for topical use. Mixed with water, an apple cider vinegar rinse for your hair can be used on the scalp for dandruff, pouring it into a foot bath for open source and athlete's foot. Make an acne compress with hot water on a face towel and hold it for 5 to 10 minutes for painful acne relief. You can also make a tonic spray for the face with half water and half apple cider vinegar for extra glow. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the link below for my blog or log on to vickyvortex.com for more details. Until next time, stay healthy, stay vibrant. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.